start your engines. I'm your announcer, Miss Christina, and I want to welcome you to the Preston with Kids Raceway. Last week, we learned that Jesus has called each of us to love each other the way that he loves us. Jesus loves you more than anything, and he wants each of us to show everyone who he is by loving them and being a good friend. And who is the best example of a good friend? Jesus, that's right. Jesus is your best friend, he's my best friend, he's everyone's best friend. And that will never change because Jesus loves you no matter what. So let's get ready to start your engines as we sing our new worship song. And we can learn to go, go, go and love, love, love like Jesus. to learn. Well, let's begin by turning on our listening ears. Click, click, click. Wonderful. Thank you for showing me that you're ready to learn. Our Bible question this month, ask who can love like Jesus? And the answer is, I can love like Jesus. Let's answer that question one more time. Who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. Wonderful. We can all love like Jesus. The Bible tells us so. Love each other as I have loved you. Let's do that one more time. Love each other as I have loved you. You know, all the lessons we teach at Preston with Kids Raceway comes from God's holy word, the Bible. And we've been learning fun facts about the Bible all year long. How many big sections are there in our Bible? That's right, there are two big sections of the Bible. The front section is called the Old Testament, and the back section, that's called the New Testament. There are 39 books in the Old Testament, and there are 27 books in the New Testament. Do you remember how many total books there are in the Bible? Great job, there are 66 books in the Bible. You guys are so smart. In fact, I bet you all can tell me the two very important things we always want to remember about our Bible. Everything in the Bible is absolutely true, and everything in the Bible is powerful. Fantastic, I think we're ready for our lesson. This week's lesson is about a very special night when Jesus was having a very special dinner with his best friends, the disciples. The disciples and Jesus had been outside most of the day, and it was time to get ready for dinner. And while everyone else was getting settled, Jesus did something wonderful for each of his friends to show them that he loved them. Let's watch. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. 
Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. So happy to see you today. Check out this car. It belongs to my friend Arturo. I'm helping him fix it because the wheels aren't working. Oh, <laughs> and that's what you do to be a good friend. You help them. In fact, that reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus. It was the night he had all his friends, the disciples, with him at dinner. His friend John was there, and Matthew, and Peter. They all were at the table. Then, Jesus took a towel and knelt down by his friends. Do you know what Jesus was doing? He was about to wash his friends' feet. His friends had been walking around dusty roads all day, and their feet were dirty. <laughs> Everyone say, Ew! Ready? <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> yep, talk about a stinky job. Ooh. Now, we need to fill up the bowl with water. Can you guys take your pretend buckets and help me fill the bowl with water? Ready? One, two, three. Ah, good job. <laughs> now, Jesus has water. Then Jesus washed his friend's feet. Huh. Can you believe that? Jesus is so important. He is God's son. Why would someone so important wash his friend's feet? Hmm. Because he wanted to show his friends that he loved them. And you're never too important to love others by doing something for them, like washing their feet. Everyone say, wow. Ready? Wow. Jesus is a good friend. <laughs> hmm, let's think for a minute. If we wanted to be a good friend like Jesus, what could we do to show love to other people around us? What if you're playing outside and your neighbor friend wants to play on your favorite scooter? Do you let them? <laughs> yes, you share your favorite scooter. That is being a good friend. What if there's a long line to get a turn in the bouncy house, but there's a little kid behind you who's really excited to bounce? Do you let them go in front of you? <laughs> yes, you let them go in front of you. That is being a good friend. You already know lots of ways to be a good friend. So start your engines and let's go, go, go and love people like Jesus did. So let's be good friends. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. Wow, what a great example of friendship. Jesus is the one and only Son of God. He is holy, the Christ, the King of Kings, but he isn't prideful. In our lesson, we learned that Jesus knelt down in front of each of his friends and washed the dirt from their feet, one by one, so everyone would be ready for dinner. He showed his friends how important they were to him by helping them and putting their needs before his own. And when Jesus was done washing everyone's feet, he told them to go and do for others what he had done for them. Now, was Jesus telling the disciples to go and wash everyone's feet with water in a cloth? Not exactly, but that is something kind that we can do for our friends. But what Jesus was telling the disciples to do was to choose to put others first and to be a good friend. And when we put others first, we are living and loving like Jesus. What a great lesson. I hope each of you go out and do just one thing this week to help someone and to show them that you are a good friend. 
and that you love them just like Jesus. So are you ready to go and love others like Jesus? Let's turn on our green light starting right now. And go, 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 love, love, love like Jesus. Start your engines. You all did great today. It was so fun being with you. Let's get our prayer hands ready to pray. Open and shut them, open and shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them, open and shut them, fold them just like that. Jesus, thank you so much for being the best example of what a true friend is. I pray that we are able to show others kindness and to love them just like you love us. In your name we pray, amen. Thanks again, everyone. Remember, Jesus wants us to be a good friend and love others the way that he loves us. See you next time. Bye. Goodbye. We'll see.